Okay, so today is February 28th. It has been about um, three months since the project started. It started about the 1st of December. So we'll take a quick tour. So here's the front of the house and all my crazy colors I picked. And there's the, um, the new enclosed porch and the new covered porch and the new gable up there. Come a little closer. We're going to have tongue and groove flooring on this porch, which actually slants away. It's a very old way of doing it. It's a pretty cool detail. Oh, don't slip, Susan. Sorry, it's so bouncy. The ground is very uneven here. Here's Tim's trailer. Now look way up there. That's the window that looks from the my staircase. Looks outside. There's the back of the addition. All the way up there. And here's the new door we go in. There's a beautiful sun on February 28th. Who would have ever guessed that? So now we'll go inside and see what we can find inside. I'm playing with the zoom. This thing just doesn't zoom out far enough. So this is the bathroom off the porch. This is where the sink goes. And there's a shower over here. And this is where the really cool 1910 reproduction toilet's gonna go. Russell's not too excited about those yet. That's the plumber. We'll see if we can't get him on board with that. Shh, don't say anything. So there's all the windows and the enclosed porch. The old cellar way still is pretty much the same. And here is the historic kitchen. So the swinging door is gonna go over there where that blue piece of styrofoam is. I have lots of styrofoam. Two big double hung windows there, one there, one there. Someday I won't have saw horses and sawdust and electric cords in here. And this is where the cook stove goes. We had to put in steel studs and cement board. It'll go over here on this side too. All to make the inspectors really happy. Over here, we have a milk house. Yes, I have a separate little room, a little milk storage room. Someday we're going to keep the ice box right here. And then there will be these shelves against the wall here where the milk pans can be stored. Window down at the end and a door out to the out of doors from there. Now we're going to cross through the magic wall. Boom! So there's like a workspace over here. And this room is the wonderful modern kitchen. There's a big 90 inch sink over here and a 60 inch range. Things are measured in tens in here. And there's a refrigerator and a freezer and a big counter and an island. Do all kinds of damage in here. And this is where the washer and dryer and utility tub will go. And my printer is gonna go in this corner. Next to that is a little bench where one can put their shoes on and a place to hang your coats and a door to the out of doors. And over here back by the washer and dryer, that's the stairs that goes down to the, um, to the new modern basement. It's a little small. All right, now we're going to go upstairs. Are we ready? Do, 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 do. Upstairs. There's that pretty window. We'll look outside. Isn't the barn gorgeous? There's the pretty view on this day. Poor John. That'll be gone someday. And there's that barn that keeps things mostly dry. That's about all it does. And as you come back around here, go up the top of the stairs, ignore that ladder. There's a window. There's my closet. Do, do, do. And you can't tell yet, but there's a vanity. That's where I can wash up. A bathtub. And another toilet. Five toilets all together. Alright, coming over here. This is where I'm going to have a little desk. Where I can not answer emails. A place for books. A place for more books. A place for a chimney. All the way down to the kitchen. Isn't it nice to know that the cook stove is right under essentially where my easy chair will be upstairs in my bedroom. And in this wall there's going to be a really big double hung window. Someday my bed will be here. And a linen closet. And you go through here and now we're in guest bedroom number three. They have their own little sitting room. A new window goes in there. Someday there will be a lovely door instead of that piece of styrofoam. And through here, this is the door into number three. Here we go. And there's a lovely window here in a bathroom. This bathroom has a shower. Shower's back over here. 
one of those really cool 1910 reproduction toilets goes right there. And there's going to be an awesome uh, turn of the century sink that goes right there in antique. And then someday that pile of lumber over there, or excuse me, flooring, it's going to be reused to repatch up the, all the floors in this house. So that's all we can see from here. I actually have to go through the front door to get the other parts. Ciao!